everybody. My name's Alex and I'm a physiotherapist from Physiofunction and I'm going to be leading this level one different strokes exercise class today. So as always, we want you to have a challenging and enjoyable class, but at the same time, it's really important that you maintain your safety and exercise to the correct level for you. So level one exercise classes are designed for people who have no movement in their affected arm or leg. It's a seated exercise class, so there will be no exercises completed in standing. So you can complete this in a sturdy upright chair or in your wheelchair. It's also a requirement that you have a family member or carer available to assist you with exercises as needed. Bam. Okay, so today we're going to do an upper body focused class. So um, you don't need any equipment for this class. Okay, um, we're going to be doing a warm up to start with. So that's going to consist of some exercises to get ourselves moving, get our joints a bit looser and get our heart rates up a little bit. We're then going to go into a circuit. The circuit is going to consist of some upper body strengthening exercises and some cardiovascular exercises to get our heart rate up as well. We're then going to finish with a cool down. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So the first thing I want you to do is try and sit nice and tall in your chair. So if you can, what I'd ask you to do is to sit away from the back of your chair, growing nice and tall, okay? Think about sitting in good posture. What we're gonna to do to start with, we're just gonna look over our right shoulder with our head, back to the middle, and then you're gonna to look to the left. Back to the middle, lovely, nice and steady. Over to the right, back to the middle, and then over to the left. Back to the middle, good. One more time each way. Over to the right, back to the middle, and then to the left. Back to the middle. Okay, this time we're gonna drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Back to the middle, left ear to left shoulder. Back to the middle, lovely. Right ear to right shoulder. Back to the middle, and then left ear to left shoulder. Back to the middle. One more time each way. Right ear, right shoulder. Feel that stretch down the side of your neck. Back to the middle, and then the other way and back to the middle okay let's start doing some nice big shoulder rolls backwards so you're going to shrug your shoulders up to your ears back and down up to your ears back and down really nice shrugging them up as high as you can back and down good shrug up back and down. Now with all of these movements, you're just trying to do as much as you can with your affected side. If you have very little movement, that's fine. Just do what you can and just think about the movement. Lovely, let's do two more here. Shrug up, back and down. One more time, shrugging up and back and down. And let's go forward. So we're gonna change direction, up and forward. Lovely. Now get those shoulders loosened, get those shoulder blades moving. Sometimes we tend to keep, keep our upper bodies quite stiff. It's nice to just get everything loosened up a bit. Lovely. Okay. So now again, sitting nice and tall in your chair, I'm going to ask you to relax back. So you're going to round your back, slump down, drop your head. Then you're going to grow tall, chest up, head high. So you're going to sink back, drop your head. Then you're going to grow tall, chest wide, head high. I'm going to turn to the side just to demonstrate what this looks like from the side. Okay, so you're rounding your back, dropping your head. Then you're sitting nice and tall, shoulders wide, head high. Rounding your back, drop down. 
and then sit nice and tall, shoulders wide, head high. We're gonna do one more here. You're gonna round that back, drop that head, and then reach head high, shoulders back, nice and tall. Lovely. Okay. If you hold your hands together in front, so you can either clasp your hands or you could alternatively support your affected arm. Now, if you've got a carer or an assistant there to help you, they could support underneath your forearm and elbow to help you on your affected side with this movement. So we're gonna go for a forward reach. So we've done this one many a times before in my classes. It's a lovely exercise to just try and get your shoulder moving, get those, get your elbows moving, and just try and stretch out your arms a bit. So we're gonna think about reaching those arms forward and then coming back. Now remember, we're just starting with a smaller movement if you're a little bit stiff in your arm, and then gradually bringing that movement just to be a bit bigger each time. Okay, so you're reaching your arms forward and then bringing it back. If you have a bit of difficulty with pinching or soreness in your shoulder, you could just reach a bit lower, okay? So try to do it somewhere that's suitable for you. Lovely. So you're reaching forward and then coming back. And you're trying to think about joining in the movement as much as you can with your affected side. Fantastic. Let's do two more. Good, and last one. And back, okay. This time, if it's available to you, we're gonna see if we can raise our arms straight up in front. So arms are starting out nice and straight, okay, if you can, as straight as you can. You might find it easier with this one to support the forearm of your affected arm and then to ask your assistant to support underneath your elbow. We're just going to try and bring your arms straight up in front of you as high as you can and back down. Again, you might find that you might not get very high, that is fine. Just move within whatever range is available to you, okay? Everybody is different. So it's moving within what's comfortable for you. Um, you don't want to push into any pain, okay? So reaching your arm up in front and then back down. So that's the option if you're supporting your arms or if you're clasping them, we're going to raise our arms up and down. If you have some grip in your hand, you could also hold a stick or a broom um, and raise your arms up using the stick or the broom in front. Um, so that's another option for you. Up and down. Really nice. We're just going to do two more here. Raising up just as high as you can. And down, trying to stay nice and tall. Last one. Raising up. And down. Lovely. Okay. So this time, keep your hands clasped. Okay, now I'm going to have my hands up like this to show you, but you could have your hands rested on a pillow or on your lap. Okay, we're just going to try and move our wrists side to side. Okay. If you find you're quite tight in your wrists on your affected side, and that's a bit difficult for you, use your unaffected hand to support the palm and the fingers on your affected hand. And you're just trying to bring that wrist back as far as comfortable for you or until you feel a stretch and then relax it back down, okay? You'll probably find if you are quite tight, you can let your fingers bend a bit first and you'll get a little bit more movement in your wrist. And then once you've done so wrist movements, you might be able to move your hand up to support your fingers and get more of a full palm stretch. Again, if you're tight, this might be quite of a challenging movement for you. So just go to wherever you feel a stretch and hold there. And then gently ease off. Lovely. Okay, we're just gonna do one more here. Fantastic. Okay, 
So next one I want you to do, she's gonna get our legs a little bit warmer, okay? So have your feet both planted on the floor and we're gonna try and push up on our toes, lifting up our heels and then lowering back down. And then if we can, lifting up our toes. So again, you're just moving with whatever range is available to you, okay? You're lift, thinking about lifting up both of your heels as far as you can and then you're gonna lift up your toes. Good, and again, lift up those heels, back down, lift up your toes. Lift up your heels, back down, lift up your toes. Really nice, lift up your heels, back down, lift up your toes. Let's do three more, lift up your heels, Back down, try and lift up your toes. Good, two more, lift up your heels. And then lift up your toes. Lovely, one more, lift up your heels. And lift up your toes. Bad. So we're gonna finish with one minute of marching just to get our heart rate up a little bit. So options, you can sit forward in your chair if you can, or just try and lessen the pressure that's going through your back in the chair, thinking about good posture. If you need to, you can hold on to your arms of the chair and just think about moving your feet, okay? If you don't have much movement in your affected side, that is fine, just move what you can, okay? You could also get your arms involved, so you can clasp your hands together and you can rotate at your waist, or you could always just use your unaffected side. Okay, so whichever option is suitable for you. Okay, so we're going to go for a minute. Off we go. Thinking about moving our feet as quickly as we can. If you're just moving one side, think about making the movements bigger. Okay, sitting nice and tall. Put your hands are clasped together. Get a bit of rotation happening in that waist. Really lovely, everybody. Well done. We're halfway. Next, so think about keeping those movements nice and quick. Trying to get that breathing up a bit. Lovely. Fifteen seconds. So keep it going. Really nice. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Rest there, lovely. So grab yourself a drink if you need a drink. Okay, we're gonna go into our main circuit now. So I'm gonna just go through the exercises. So the first one we're gonna do is called a half raise. So this is gonna be for our shoulder muscles. So you're gonna have your hands clasped together in front um, straight, okay? If this, again, other option, you could use your unaffected side to support your affected arm underneath the wrist and have an assistant help you with your elbow if um, your arm is quite heavy, okay? Um, but otherwise, you can have your hands clasped in front, okay? We're going to think about reaching our arms up to halfway, the, or up, up to shoulder height, drop halfway, come back up, and then lower. So we're coming up, half lower, up and down. So that's our first exercise, okay? So we're gonna do this for 90 seconds. So I'm gonna set my stopwatch off. Okay, whoops. Uh, let's find the time here. Okay, off we go. So we're lifting up, drop halfway, come back up and down. Lovely, think about nice posture. Up. Drop halfway, come back up, and down. Lovely. Lift up, drop halfway, come back up, and down. If you're supporting, you can do it this way. Up, drop halfway, come back down. Oh, come back up and down. <laughs> up, drop halfway, come back up, and down. Okay, so you can just support one arm that way. Okay, and then what you could do now, if you have been supporting your arm like this, you could rest your affected side and come up with your unaffected side. 
If you wanted to, for your unaffected side, you could always hold a bottle or a can of beans or something to add a bit of a hand weight to make it a bit more challenging. So you're lifting up, halfway, up and down. Up, halfway down, back up and down. Really good, you have 10 seconds. Up, halfway down, back up and down. One more, up, halfway down, back up and down. Lovely. Okay. The next exercise we're going to do is my seated modification of the burpee. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try with our feet set forward, forward, back, back, and then we're going to reach up, okay? Or reach forward, or you could just reach one arm, so it's up to you, okay? So we're going to go with our feet, we're going to go forward, forward, back, back, reach up, or one arm up. If you struggle moving your um, affected leg, you could just go forward if you're unaffected, little lift if you can, back with your unaffected, little lift, and then reach. So it's up to you which option you choose. Okay, so we're going to go do this one for a minute. And you're trying to move as quick as you can, okay? Off we go. So forward, forward, back, back, reach up. Forward, forward, back, back, reach up. Forward, forward, back, back, reach up. Good. Forward, forward, back, back, reach up. So whichever option you need for reach. Forward, forward, back, back, reach up. Forward, forward, back, back, reach up. Good. So move at a pace that is suitable for you, okay? So you might be going quicker than me, you might be going um, slower than me. Reach out, it's whatever is a challenge for you, but is achievable for you. Up, good. Forward, forward, back, back, and up. We've got time for one more. So one more wherever you're at. Back, back, and up. Fantastic. Okay. The next exercise we're going to do is a bicep curl. So options again, you can do, if you wanted to um, use a bit of a weight for your unaffected arm, then you could use either a light hand weight, you could use a can of food or a drink bottle um, of, of sort of various sizes to add different sorts of resistance. Okay, so if you are going to choose to do that option, I will um, tell you when we're halfway so you can switch to doing your um, unaffected side with the hand weight, okay? So what we're doing here, we're bending up and coming back down. So options are, you could do the whole thing like this with your hands clasped. You could always, if you wanted to, hold a can or a weight between your hands to do this way. You could do one arm at a time where you're helping your affected arm come up and back down, trying to join in as much as you can. So thinking about bringing that hand towards the shoulder and then switching over to do your other side. So that's the different options for you. I'll tell you when we're halfway through so you can switch arms if you're choosing to do one arm at a time. Okay, so off we go. Hand to shoulder, back down. Joining in as much as you can. Think of squeezing that bicep muscle. Hand to shoulder and back down. Lovely. Hand to shoulder and back down. If you're doing hands together, we're going hands to chest and back down. Again, you're trying to join in as much as you can with your affected side and back down. Good. Hands up and back down. Lovely. Up and back down. Do one more on this side. Up and back down. And then if you're doing one arm at a time, you're gonna to change to the other arm. So if you wanna hold a weight, then you can come up and down. You know, bring it up to the shoulder and back down. Or alternatively, if you're doing both hands together, just keep it on going. <laughs> up and down, lovely. Up and down, good. 
up and down. Keep it going. Up and down. Look, 15 seconds. Up and down. Good. Up and down. One more. Up and down. Fantastic. Okay. The next exercise we're going to do is another minute of a cardiovascular. So that means a bit quicker. So we're going to do quick feet. Okay, so focus here is trying to move your feet as quick as you can. Okay, again, if on your affected side you struggle to lift, that's fine. You could do marching and try and assist with your unaffected side. Or if you've got a helper that can help you lift that leg up. Or you're just trying to move as quick as you can. Okay, so focusing on your unaffected side, moving as quick as you can. All right, so we're going to go for a minute. Okay, ready, set, off you go. Moving those feet as quick as you can. So if you can, you're moving both of them. Try to sit nice and tall. If you can do it without holding on, that's great. Or if you need to hold on, hold on. If this is a bit tricky, try to do marching. Okay. to side, pretending to draw a figure of eight with your hands. So option, you can come out here, figure of eight, bring it lower, figure of eight, bend the elbows, figure of eight, moving with the shoulders. Okay, so pick whatever option you're doing. Okay, and we're going to swap ways now, change it up, figure of eight backwards, this might feel a bit strange. Always feel strange going one way <laughs> compared to the other. Well done. If you need to change it, then you can bring it in a bit further. Oh gosh, I lost my eight. <laughs> so again, moving with whatever is an option for you. You should be feeling it in your shoulders. I definitely can. Well done. And rest. Lovely. Okay, we're going to go back now into our burpee. So it's either forward, forward, back, back, reach. So both arms or one arm. Okay. Or march, 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 and reach, assisting with your affected leg if needed. Okay. Off we go. Oop. Off we go. Forward, forward, back, 
back, reach. Forward, forward, back, back, reach. Or one, two, three, four, reach. Two, three, four, reach. Lovely. One, two, three, four, reach. Good. One, two, three, four, reach. Good. One, two, three, four, reach. Forward, forward, back, back, reach. Forward, forward, back. Reach, lovely, forward, forward, back, back, reach, you're over halfway, forward, forward, back, back, reach, 15 seconds, forward, forward, back, back, reach, forward, forward, back, back, reach, one more, forward, forward, back, back, reach, fantastic guys, well done. Okay, we have one final exercise to do in our main circuit. This is called a lawnmower. <laughs> so it is, like you can imagine, pretending we're starting a lawnmower. So this is a good one for your tummy, but also the muscles around your shoulder. So we're gonna do it. So with your unaffected side, you're gonna reach over and down past your affected knee, and then you're gonna pull your arm up and back. Okay, imagine like you're starting a lawnmower. Okay, when you're squeezing back, think about your shoulder blade coming back, squeezing your shoulders back together. When you're doing your affected side, we're going to use our arms to both reach down together and assist back. Okay, so you're going to reach down and assist back. Again, if you need support, make sure as well you've got someone to supervise you coming forward if your sitting balance is a bit affected. Okay. So we're gonna go for 45 seconds on each side. We'll get my stopwatch ready. So let's start with our unaffected side. We're gonna reach down toward the opposite knee and pull back. Again, you could hold a little hand weight if you wanted to, a little can. Down and pull back. That's it, imagine that old fashioned lawnmower. Down and back. Or Push along lawnmower, I should say. <laughs> down, and you're pulling back. Good. Reach down, pull back, squeeze those shoulders back together. Again, move at a pace that's good for you. Reach down, and pull back. Lovely, keep going here. Last one here, and relax. Okay, we're gonna go on to the other side now. So hands together. Reaching down to opposite knee and assisting back, squeezing shoulder blade. Down to opposite knee, reach back, squeezing your shoulder blades. Reach down, come back, squeezing shoulder blades. Good, reach down forward and back, squeezing shoulder blades together. Reach down and back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Down and back, squeeze those shoulder blades, elbow back. Reaching down to the opposite knee and back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Down and back, really nice. Nearly there, last one, and back. Fantastic. Lovely guys, so that's the end of our circuit. So again, grab yourself a drink if you need one. We're just gonna go through a quick cool down. So let's start with our hands down by our side, base of our back if we can, or like I said, if your um, affected side, you struggle to get it back there, then you're gonna think about bringing your unaffected arm back, shoulder blades or collarbones wide, and lift that head nice and high to feel a nice stretch across your chest. So you think about squeezing those shoulders back together and take some nice big breaths. One more, big breath in. Lovely, okay, let's hold those hands. Draw them straight round those shoulders and drop that chin to your chest. Big breath in to feel that stretch across your back. And relax out. Again, big breath in. Really feel the stretch across your back as you're breathing in and filling your lungs with air. And out, give everything a little shake. 
Okay, let's bring your hands to one knee, okay? And you're gonna turn to try and look over that shoulder. Take a nice big breath in and out here. Good, one more big breath. Good, and then we're gonna bring hands to the opposite knee. We're gonna turn towards that leg, twisting our waist and a big breath in and out here. One more big breath. Lovely, come back to the center. Okay, if we can, we're gonna clasp our hands together or using your unaffected hands, support your affected hand. So if your hands are clasped, we're gonna try, or if you can bring them into prayer position, we're gonna try and bring our hands down in front of us, or we're gonna think about bringing that affected wrist into a bent back position to stretch that forearm. If your hands in the palm, we're thinking about giving that palm a good stretch. Should feel this down the front of your forearm, if your hands support it, then you can be doing it on your armrest or on a pillow. I'm just going to hold that there for a little stretch. Done really well today. Well done, guys. So what we'll do is next week, we'll do a lower body focus session again. This is quite nice then. If you ever wanted to do more than one session in a week, you can go back and have a little look through the other classes we've done and do a combination. Okay, and relax there. And give everything a nice shake out. Fantastic. So yeah, so if you ever wanted to do um, more than one exercise, because all the exercise um, videos are all on YouTube and Facebook, you could always go back to a previous week. So if we've done an upper body focus today, you could do maybe a lower body or core focus session later in the week. So then you're getting sort of an all rounded um, full body workout in the week. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed today. Please leave me any comments or feedback below. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you all next week again. Thanks, guys. Bye.